Today's video is sponsored by NordLocker. NordLocker is a new file encryption tool brought to you by the same company that gave you one of the best VPNs out there, NordVPN. We travel a lot, and I'm sure you might be wondering how and where we store all of our files. So stay tuned to later in the video to find out. And oh, by the way, welcome to our Romania series. I'm on my way now. Oh my, what is this monstrous building? I had read and I saw pictures of this, but it is so much bigger in person. Welcome to Romania, everyone. This is our first time here, and we have absolutely no idea what to expect. So we're starting our time in Romania here in the capital city of Bucharest. Today, we're just gonna explore a bit, wander the streets, and see what the city has to offer. If you are new around here, my name is Anna. The handsome guy behind the camera is named Trevor. We are the Delightful Travelers. We would love it if you hit that subscribe button. If you're not new around here, you might know that we often like to start things off in a new place in a beautiful green space in the middle of the city. All right, we found the park map. There's some not so great graffiti on it. There's the name of it, Parshel Chishmigu. Chish Oh, we're going to have some hard times pronouncing Fish Romanian. Megu? Sorry, that's totally wrong. Uh, Romanian is obviously brand new to us, but maybe you guys can leave a comment and let us know the proper way to pronounce it. Well, this is pretty cool, or I bet it was pretty cool when it was filled with water. <laughs> yeah, we're not exactly here in high season, so I wonder if they've emptied it for the winter maybe, but there are a few ducks around. Yeah, look at the little duckies hanging out, getting the last of the water. So this is a really nice park, especially in this big of a city. I can totally picture what it would be like in the summer. There, we spotted some paddle boats and uh, I can envision that lake or pond filled up with water because there's these cool bridges and you could probably go in those boats and go under them. It'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, and you could bring a picnic or like eat at one of the uh, cafes or restaurants around. Mm -hmm. It'd be really nice. So we already mentioned that we are in Bucharest. Some of you watching may not know where that is. It's actually in the southern part of Romania. There are almost 2 million people here in the city and in all of Romania there's about 20 million. All right, so we just found some, what are those, ducks or swans? Swans, black swans and white swans and some sort of weird brown duck that makes a really weird sound. Let's see if we can get them to do it. Oh, there we go. What's up, guys? So these guys are hilarious. If you happen to be in the city, you gotta come to this park and check them out. They also seem to be the permanent residents because they seem to still have their water. So this park is really great, but what also is really great is the old town here. It's only like a 10 minute walk and it's a must see when you come to Bucharest. So let's go check it out. All right, so quite the change of scenery. We have made it into the old town and there are some absolutely stunning buildings here, but mixed in with that are some buildings that are a little bit run down. They're just more concrete and just, well, not very interesting. And as it is uh, called Old Town, it is actually the oldest part of Bucharest. Uh, is where the city originated in, I think, the 14th century. So one thing we absolutely love about this place is it is pedestrian only. You guys heard of us talk about that in so many different cities, but we just love when um, cities of this size just take the time to get the cars out of here so people can just walk around and have a great time. And there are uh, couple stones everywhere it's really really lovely it feels very European uh, and there's loads of coffee shops coffee shops for days there are restaurants and if nightlife is your uh, mm -hmm. is your scene there are yes. loads and loads and loads of clubs and bars here so something I had read about the old town was it's actually the only part of the city where you can find buildings that date back from before the Second World War a lot of the city was really really heavily damaged uh, and I think bombings in 1944 and then the communist regime actually ripped down a whole lot of older buildings to make room for some massive buildings that we'll go look at later including the Parliament building all right so we're gonna head back to our hotel 
well now to show you guys how much of an amazing location it is in. But funny story, while we're on our way back, uh, all the cafes and restaurants here have people outside that are really trying to get you in. I mean, they are really fishing for you to come inside. And they just have the most hilarious replies. Like we always say no thank you unless we really want to go there. Uh, one reply we got was, why not? And then another reply was the best one. The girl was like, okay, fine. <laughs> Before we show you our awesome hotel, we are coming at you uh, from another hotel in the future because we wanted to talk a little bit more about our sponsor this week, Nordlocker. As most of you know, we travel a lot. We also work while we travel. So one of our main concerns, other than having really fast internet, is keeping our data and files safe. From our precious video footage to client files and all of our personal travel information such as passport numbers, finances, IDs, and passwords. We're constantly traveling and hooking on different Wi-Fi networks in different coffee shops, restaurants, hotels, Airbnbs, and one of the things you need to make sure you do is you keep your data safe and that's where Nordlocker comes in. Nordlocker helps you take back control of your security and privacy and if you haven't guessed it yet, it will allow you to keep your data safe wherever you decide to go. And it's actually really easy to set up. It's as simple as dragging and dropping. That's all you have to do to encrypt your data and if you happen to be wondering, it also does work with some popular cloud services like Google Drive and of course Dropbox. Nordlocker allows us to relax, put our feet up and not worry about our online security while we travel. You'll find all of the information down below in the description and the best part is you can absolutely start using it right now for free. So let's get back to the hotel tour in the actual video. All right well uh, here we are right off the main streets here at the New Era Hotel. Welcome to our room. We're going to give you a very quick tour. Uh, right here we have our closet area, lots of storage. And then if we go straight ahead we have our great bathroom as you can see it's pretty nice and our favorite part is the walk-in shower so this is our bedroom we're really loving it because it's cozy and really really bright uh queen size bed here is very comfortable we've had some great sleeps there and we have two end tables and lights as well right over here you do have a nice big tv screen you have a mini bar just down in this location and also, you uh, well, they provide you with an espresso, which is some of our favorite coffee. I think we should maybe have some. Let's do it. All right, well, we do have one more thing to show you. We have an enormous patio Look out here. Look how big this is, it's crazy. <laughs> with um, a fantastic view of the city, it's pretty much the perfect place to have a coffee. Not a bad place to take photos to. Uh, we came out here last night and did a little Instagram shoot right around sunset. The light was really, really perfect. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, you should be. Uh, we post lots of photos and we also do Instagram stories. So one of the things we like to do when we get to a new country is learn a little bit of the language and by that I just mean basic Very words. minimal <laughs> basic words, yeah. So uh, Anna's got her phone over here and we're going to start out with um, hello. Hello, yeah. Let's try hello. Hopefully it's easy because we've done this in the past and usually we It looks fail. easy. Uh, I would say salut. It looks like salut or maybe it's like sal salut. Maybe That's listen right. to it. Um, Sal Salute. Salute. All right. Salute. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll that. remember that one. Okay. <laughs> um, let's try thank you. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Maltumesque. If I had to take a guess, I would maybe guess Maltumesque. Maltumesque. Let's hear it. Let's try it out. Maltumesque. I think we were pretty good. Maltumesque. Maltumesque. All right. We'll try one more. Maybe we can try um, goodbye or bye. That's probably try goodbye first. Oh, I feel like that should be an easy one, but it's probably going to be hard. La Riva d'Air. La Riva d'Air. Kind of looks. Kind of looks French in a way. Yes. Let's hear it. La Riva d'Air. La Riva d'Air. La Riva d'Air. It almost sounds Italian. La I like, Riva d'Air. I like that one. No idea if you guys are going to be able to tell how monstrously huge this building behind me is but it is the seat of parliament here in Romania uh, it's the second largest administrative building in the entire world just after the Pentagon it's the biggest uh, and it's also get this this is a very very odd fact and something I never really thought of before it's the heaviest building in the world 
So you guys heard us mention that there was a communist regime here uh, earlier in the video. So that ended in 1989 and uh, the leader uh, at that time ordered this building to be made. I believe his name is like Nikolai Kusheshu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that entirely that. right. It's pretty interesting. Right, but the building actually took 700 architects to, I guess, design and plan it in 13 years to build. So they started building it in 1984 wow. and it finished in 1997. So long after the communist regime ended, yeah. they finished this building. Yeah, and you know, in general, like Romania here has such an interesting past uh, when it comes to its history. So we're not going to ramble on about it too much, um, but we do highly encourage you guys just to go read a little bit, uh, read a little bit about it. It's actually fascinating. So if you're wondering, I'm pretty sure you can actually book a tour of the place. We were a little worried that they probably wouldn't allow cameras, which kind of defeats the purpose of us taking you inside. So we are skipping it today, but we did want to come see the magnificent outside because it's crazy looking. We are extra excited right now because we are back in the land of craft beer. So if you guys don't know, we were traveling in Turkey for like the last month and I think there's some craft beer there, but there's not a lot of it. Here in Romania, craft beer is very popular just like it is in our country in Canada. So we're extra excited to try it today and have one. Let's try it. Mm. So we're at Zaganu. I think that's how you say it, Zaganu. Um, I got an IPA. It's really good. We've just been drinking this domestic kind of warm weather beer for a long time, but this is really good. It's just such a good way to kind of uh, round out a perfect day here in the city. So as Trevor already said, there are lots and lots of options for craft beer here in the city. This one actually came recommended by a local, so that's always a good sign. But even if you're not that into craft beer, but you do like your beer, there are lots of like beer pubs around. I've seen like beers of the world and all that kind of stuff. So uh, you do have lots of options in the city. But for those of you that know us, you know that we really, really seek out craft beer wherever we go. Well, day one in the books here in Romania. I think we're off to a pretty good start. We are. I have really, really good vibes from the city. I really enjoyed our day. Mm -hmm. um, stuff probably didn't come across in video, but it has a very young feel to it. it. Lots of yes. young people, a university town, lots of cafes, great mm -hmm. restaurants, like just good choices in terms of food and that kind of thing. Yes, and well, speaking of food, if any of you are watching this right now and going like, hey, uh, they didn't try any food. Well, don't worry. We do that in our videos if this is your first time watching. In our next video, we're going to be trying some traditional Romanian food, and that's mm -hmm. all we're going to be doing. Yes. Right? We're going to dedicate the whole video to that. And if you haven't watched our last video, we were in Istanbul still. Mm -hmm. We actually did a whole series in Turkey, so you should yes. go back and watch that if you haven't already seen it. Yeah, it was such a good place. Now, if you got to the end of the video and you forget who we are, I'm Trevor, this is Anna. Like we said before, we are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and there's a little bell. If you click that, that will notify you for all of our videos that are going to come out in this series. If you uh, click the thumbs up button, that would be great. Leave us a comment. It all helps us out. Honestly, everything helps Absolutely. us out. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it. From Bucharest, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.